Hi, welcome to the next video and our e-commerce app. We're on video number two here, which is called the nav bar header. And so we're working toward milestone number three. So let's go see what we're going to do with Bootstrap. So currently, this is the condition of the app the last time I showed it to you on the video for milestone number two. And so we're going to move from here, which doesn't look bad, but we're going to make it more like the front end of an app. So we're going to have the uh, nav bar at the top with a search, and we're going to eventually put login information here. Now I understand that you have your own design of your app. And so just because I'm showing you an app that's working doesn't mean you have to uh, copy it identically. But Bootstrap is a very popular way to format things without getting uh, in-depth with CSS. And so you might want to choose to use it as a good example. So let's see if we can create a nav bar here and then the uh, front screen to make our app a little bit more uh, professional looking. All right, so let's look at the current condition of our app right now. We've got ourselves the folders behind our app, which are probably the most important part of this class, is the design. However, our index HTML page is pretty simple. Right now we have some styling and we have two search forms. So we're going to create a nav bar and then a front page. So let's talk about some CSS styling that we can use that other people have found useful as well. Bootstrap is probably the most popular CSS uh, formatting, templating that we've got in the internet. So we're going to use this. However, there are other options. Let's take a look at this blog here at codeburst.io. He says um, Bootstrap versus Bulma versus Foundation, Milligram, Pure. there's all kinds of other projects that are out there that work with CSS as well. And so I recommend that you research them. I've worked with Foundation before, which maybe is the second most popular uh, CSS uh, formatting tools out there, but um, you can see that there are comparisons here side by side. So there are 49 elements, and this one here is 53. So they're pretty extensive, and you can design your page to maybe look a little different than everybody else. If everybody's using Bootstrap, then yours might look the same. So um, pick one that you think is a good choice and go with it and see if you can save yourself some time there. But I'm going to show you a quick demo of Bootstrap and how to create a nav bar. So the nav bar they have here, this purple bar, looks a lot like what we're going to create here. So I'm going to documentation and search for components and then search for nav bar. So let's see, nav bar is right here. Now the beauty of this is that you just include a few lines of code and then copy and paste and you'll have yourself a good starting point. So here's a nice nav bar to start with. It's a uh, light version and the code here is there just to copy. So let's uh, select the items and then uh, let's see, I think they had a copy button up here. Copy to clipboard. And we're going to put that in a file. Okay, so now I want to create the nav bar in its own file. So let's go to the root of our project here, create a new file, and I'm going to use an underscore nav bar as my file name simply because I want to make sure that this is a partial include. And so that's the standard way that I'm showing includes is the underscore. And we'll just simply paste this in here. Now you notice there's not a single line of PHP code in here, but I labeled it as an extension of PHP, which allows me to use the in a require once or the require command inside of PHP. So let's save this here. Let's go and see if there are some options. So we've got ourselves a whole bunch of CSS classes listed here. Let's go back into the documentation and check out the other choices. So as you scroll through here, you can see that we've got ourselves different things that have disabled items. We can have drop-down menus, search items, logins, inline forms. This is important. Uh, let's go and find out what color schemes look like. Here we go. So do you like dark? Do you like the uh, blue? Do you like the light? So in uh, Bootstrap, the colors are usually labeled as primary or warning or success and that's pretty much standard throughout their theme. So I kind of like the dark theme, as you can see. So I'm going to copy these class names and put them into my nav bar here. So I've got ourselves nav bar light and background light. Let's delete those, change that. So I don't need nav bar twice. 
So I'm going to have a dark nav bar. Now in my index HTML, I'm also going to change some things up here. So let's knock out everything except for the, um, the form for searching for products. I'm going to save this and rename this to a PHP file. So let's go to refactor, rename, and call it index.php. Okay, so now if I do index.php, it allows me to do includes. So let's say, let's do the PHP include at the beginning and at the end. Now you notice it doesn't automatically turn red. I'm going to close and resave it and open it again. And let's see there. Now the formatting is more recognizable. So I want to do a require. And we're going to require the header. Now I notice that I have my header stuck down here in the views. So I'm not sure if I want it down there. I'm going to keep it up here at the root level. So I'm going to drag it up. And header is now at the same area as index. So we're going to require the header. And we'll save that. Now let's go look in the header. What's in the header? So the only thing that the header has right now is session start. So we should also include the nav bar in our header. So let's do a require once and let's go to underscore navbar.php. We're going to save that. Okay, so now let's see if anything changed on our app. So I'm going to go navigate to the current version of my app and there is the the view as I see it. I'm going to refresh and now you can see I've got myself a nav bar and the search. It looks horrible. So why didn't it work? I thought, I thought Bootstrap was supposed to look good. Well all the uh, CSS code has not been included yet in my app so I have to add that. So if you want to use Bootstrap you have to go install it. So let's go to home again and let's do getting started. So it says here you're going to need some files. So we're going to need a CSS file. So we can just copy that and let's include it in our header. So in, inside of there we're going to have to stop using PHP for a moment and include that CSS link. Now you notice it is a link to an online site. So I don't have to actually download and install anything. I can. I can download these files but I'm just going to use the online version for now. Also, you need some JavaScript uh, to make these, some of these effects work. So I'm going to copy these three lines and switch back into the header and paste them. Okay, now if you want to see the whole thing, you can go to the word wrap option. And now you can see that we have a link, a script, a script, and a script. Okay, let's save that. I'm going to press the save button. And let's come back into our app and refresh. Okay, now we're getting getting something. Okay, so why didn't my uh, nav bar show up? It says require once. What did I do wrong? Okay, so I need to restart PHP coding. So I'm going to type in those magical letters and save it again and refresh. And now you can see I've got myself the nav bar copied directly from their website. Now I can go ahead and modify all these things but it's the basic design that I want to get started with right here. My product search hopefully still works. If I search and I've got myself search results. Now the nav bar disappeared. I'd kind of like it to show up on every page. So on my product search handler, I'm going to modify that to include the header. There it is, product search handler. Okay, so in here, we are going to require the header. And let's see if that will show up. So let's see double up folder header.php save the work. So now if I refresh the page here I get myself not only the uh, nav bar but you can see the font has changed and now I'm using the, uh, the CSS directly from Bootstrap. So as soon as you add the Bootstrap's links a lot of your formatting just starts to look better, better by default. Okay so we got ourselves a product search and uh, we've added a link to one page. Okay, so looking at our milestone number three videos, we just finished video number two, which is the nav bar header. Let's go to the next video next, which is about creating a new person and the forms that go along with that.